Wait. Beyonce's Cowboy Carter album got zero nominations at the CMAs, the same album that was the first by a black female artist to top the Billboard Country album charts since its inception in 1964. Like how did Texas Hold'em not even get a nomination when it debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot Country song charts and stayed there for weeks? Again, she's the first black woman to do that. I wonder why she was snubbed, hmm. But also, there are people who think that she was not snubbed. Some have said her album was mid, so you're telling me all the albums nominated at the CMAs just happen to be great or they just happen to be better than Beyonce's? No. Example, Casey Musgraves has multiple nominations and I listened to her album and it was so boring, no shade. Another reason people try to justify Beyonce not getting nominated is because they claimed that the album was a flop. It came and it went. First of all, Cowboy Carter simultaneously debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, Top Country Albums, and American Folk Album charts, as well as the Billboard Album Sales chart. It sold over 400,000 first week. Flop where? Also, people have said, well, it isn't a country album. Beyonce said it herself. Well, when Beyonce said, it's not a country album, it's a Beyonce album, she simply meant that she put her own twist and spice to the country genre by fusing various genres in one album, but the core of the album is in fact country, and that's why it was on country charts. Of course, people still think Beyonce herself isn't country. Her mother is from Galveston, her father is from Alabama, she grew up in the South and was raised in the culture of going to rodeos, etc. In her own words, if that ain't country, tell me what is. Keith Urban, for example, isn't even American and he does country music with no problems. And also when it comes to hip hop and rap, I don't see black people shutting white people out of that genre. Eminem, among others, have succeeded in this black genre. Jack Harlow has won BET awards, like come on. And country music was not solely created by white people for them to feel like they have the right to push black people out of it. Black people had a large influence on country music. I made a video all about that, I'll link it. Now there's the question of, did Beyonce submit her music and was overlooked, or did she not submit at all? Given the fact that what really propelled her to make this album is because she had a negative experience with the CMAs in 2016, it wouldn't be shocking if she didn't submit. However, according to Billboard, unlike many other award shows, labels, artists, and their teams do not submit entries for the CMA awards. Instead, the roughly 6,600 voting members each receive a right in ballot to list their choices, and the Billboard actually saw second-run ballots for Song of the Year, and Texas Hold'em was not included. They simply did not consider Beyonce. Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's father, spoke about the situation. He said, There's more white people in America, and unfortunately, they don't vote based on ability and achievements. It's still sometimes a white and black thing. And I absolutely agree. The fact that the most nominated artist at the CMAs is Morgan Wallen, a man who got in trouble for saying the N-word, gave a fake apology, got invited to have a sit-down talk with the NAACP, and didn't even bother to show up, should tell you all you need to know. But I'm sure Beyonce will take it on the chin and move on. These are my thoughts, let me know yours. Do leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.